Hello, I am Oscar from the Coding Universe, and this is the first episode of a series entitled Java Game Development. In this video, we'll set up the environment needed for creating and running our project in Eclipse. We're going to use Eclipse, the lightweight Java game library, and Slick Util. So let's go to eclipse.org, downloads, and select either the Eclipse IDE for Java developers or the classic IDE. You can download and install that and create a shortcut to your start bar. Next, we're going to download the lightweight Java game library by going to lwjgl.org, download, stable version, and the zip file. Since I've already downloaded that, I'm not going to download it right now. So for the slick util, go to wiki, slick util library introduction, and click on this link here. Click on the jar file, and we'll just save to our desktop. So now let's open up Eclipse. I've already set up my workspace to that folder there. And create a new project. And we're going to call it JGame. So just hit enter. And now we can minimize Eclipse. So open up our workspace and our project. And also open up our lightweight Java game library zip file. So we're going to create a new folder called lib. And in that folder we're going to create two new folders. The first is going to be called jars. And the second is going to be called natives windows. Going over to WinRAR, we can copy the jar file and the utility file. You can also go to the native folder, native windows, and copy all the DLLs into the native windows folder. So in the jars file, you have two jar files. But we also need to add the slick util jar folder to the jars folder. So let's go back into Eclipse and open up our project properties. Let's go to the Java build path and add some external jars. So hover over to our jars folder, copy them in. We can go to the lightweight Java game library dot jar and we're going to specify the natives folder. There we go, it should all be up and running. But just to test it, we're going to create another class and call it main. And in this class, we're going to type in the main method display.create. The try loop. And once I run this, it should show a window and then it should also immediately disappear again. So there we go, it worked. Thanks for watching.